what I'm doing here is I'm using a uh, NYX Proof It waterproof eyeshadow base, and I'm just putting it over my lids. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this uh, color from the Graffiti Pop right there. Um, it's kind of a neutral color. I'm gonna use it and put it just all over my lid. It's a very kind of like grayish neutral color, but it's, it's almost nude, but it's a little shimmery, which is fine too. And we have our base color on. Oh my God, it looks just like the, it doesn't even look like I put anything on. It's kind of hilarious, right? You can hardly tell. I mean, it's just a little bit more evened out, I guess. It really looks like I didn't put shit on. All right, so I'm actually gonna use this kind of stubby, it's a contour brush. Um, it's round and fat and thick. It's a thick boy. And I'm gonna use this and I'm going to dip it in the uh, graffiti pop in that very light purple. I'm gonna take it and put it over my crease on both eyes. Now I'm gonna take a blending brush and blend it the fuck out. Nice, it's a pretty color. It kind of looks pink, but it's purple, I promise. All right, there we go, there's that. And now I'm gonna take an angled eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna clean it off first because I do believe it has some brown on it. And we're gonna stick it in this other palette, the, uh, the Concrete Runway palette in this purpley blue color right here. It's a dark purple. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm going to kind of outline my eye on the edge right here. Like that. On both sides. I'm gonna do a V in the outer corner. All right, I'm gonna take the blending brush, blend this out a little bit. All right, so I'm actually gonna take this and very carefully um, hit the inner corner of my eye as to do the inner part of the halo as well. So I'm basically leaving the center area clear of eyeshadow even though it has the base on there. It's because we don't need to stack it too much, you know? And then we're just gonna blend it out. And why not, fuck it. We can actually, what we're gonna do is put some more uh, primer on underneath. Or I'm sorry, underneath, on top of the uh, middle part so it's and it's fine if it actually gets eyeshadow in the middle it, it won't matter too much all right so I'm gonna take a little tiny concealer brush a flat ba basically a flat little concealer brush um, and I'm going to use it to apply more primer so I'm gonna throw some primer on the back of my hand here eyeshadow primer um, and then I'm going to gently dab the uh, concealer brush in this and I'm going to Basically, so let's imagine my eyes, I, I slick some oil or something on my eyes. If I did that, there would be a shiny part right in the middle, right? Like, a sh like when it, because of the bulbous, like the spherical shape of my eye, there would be a shiny part in the middle. So that's what we're trying to recreate here with, um, with the uh, eyeshadow. So basically, the center of my eye, where my pupil is, right there, I'm gonna put one dab, as just like the middle. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is just kind of like go and work this all the way up to the crease. And all the way down. So I'm basically making a line over my lid, if you can see it right there. All 
All right, so I have the two lines, right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of blend the primer out a little bit, and then I'm going to, I'm just like, I'm just gonna slightly put a little bit more on the edges. I'm not really adding anymore, I'm just kind of moving it around what's on here already. Uh, and then the part in the middle of the eye is actually a little bit, you know, you want it to be a little bit more round than the edges, so I'm just gonna go like that a little bit. But not too much. All right, we have added our primer back to the center of the eyes, and now I'm gonna t use this same brush, just wipe it off a little bit. Just wiped it off a little bit. Now I'm gonna go to my uh, concrete runway palette here and use the silver all the way on the side here. Use this brush, tap it off, make sure you don't get any excess. So now I'm gonna take this and gently pat it on to where I've added this primer. We have the silver on so now what I'm gonna do is ever so gently I'm gonna take like a I'm gonna take this small shading uh, fluffy it's like a it's a fluffy brush it's kind of angled though and it's it's not super fat you know it's a little bit fluffy but not super fluffy anyway I'm gonna take this and gently kind of blend in the sides of the silver here not even like going left to right I'm just kind of like up and down, just patting it, you know? I might be actually pulling the silver back into the eye instead of uh, on the outside. So like, like that, you know? If anything, I'm pulling to the center toward the silver. I don't want it to spread too much, so. But we are gonna add some more uh, of the dark purple first uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and touch it with one more time with silver so the dark purple again angled brush in the corners of my eyes like this make the V happen again on the inner corner just a little bit and now I'm gonna take a different blending brush and I'm going to blend that stuff over Gently, trying not to touch the silver too much. I'm kind of dabbing the brush off a little bit in between. I just don't want to get any silver outside of the center area, you know? So I'm going to take this concealer brush again, dab the silver right in the middle, and then dab it a little bit to the edges. Last time, take this. Kind of gently swipe over the whole thing. It's interesting right now. It'll look better when it's finished, I promise. So real quick before we move on with this, I'm gonna take just a different regular eyeshadow brush here. All right, so this one on the Graffiti Pop palette, there is a nice kind of very light nude shimmery color right here at the top. And I'm just gonna dip my regular eyeshadow brush into that and tap underneath, or just like lightly drag it underneath my, the arch of my brows and very lightly sweep it underneath the brow completely, but mostly under the arch. And then this blending brush, just quickly touch it. We're gonna do the under eye shimmer, or uh, shadow as well, so. But first, what I'm gonna do here is do the eyeliner. Actually, no, let's do the under eye. Let's do the under eye after all. I'm just gonna take this a little wipe that I already used and kind of kind of wipe underneath my eye just in case some got down there. It doesn't matter if it's too clean. I, it's it's fine if it's not, but anyway, uh, let's take some primer. Just a little bit. I'm gonna prime under my eyes first. You could prime your whole skin first if you wanted to, but and then I'm gonna apply my concealer first. I'm just concealing first because I like putting the eyeshadow. I don't like having to go over the eyeshadow again because I accidentally added concealer on top of it later, you know? I don't always do it like this, but I like the way it looks already. I need to blend it out a little bit more though. All right, so now let's take a little bit of the uh, 
eyeshadow primer and just put a little bit on my finger here. I'm literally just going to swipe some across the base of my eyelid here. So here's what I'm gonna do first. I'm going to grab with this angled brush the dark purple again and I'm going to tap it. I'm gonna very lightly go right to my lid line, my lower lash line. Like that. Then we're gonna take the uh, the concealer brush again and go with the silver here. Blending brush, quick swoop. All right, and then now before I do anything else, don't forget. I'm gonna take this little fluffy angled brush and I'm gonna dip it in the light purple here. And I'm gonna go all underneath this like that. There's the eyeshadow. Let's throw some eyeliner on real quick. And then we can fuck with it some more if we want. I'm just gonna do a regular winged liner here. Struggle to get the other eye exactly the same. Let's go, let's do it. Damn it, this one's better! I can make this one a little thicker though, that's fine. Lighting over here makes it look like it's there. Good, what do you guys think? Close enough? All right, and now I'm gonna take this uh, pencil liner, actually. I have a, a black pencil that I will take and put underneath my eyes. I was thinking about skipping the silver part in the middle, but let's just do the whole thing. I'm getting a little bit in my waterline, not too hardcore. This isn't like a really good pencil or anything, it's just kind of like a basic bitch pencil. All right, and now you guys probably have something similar to this, maybe not an entire brush for it, but it's like a little smudge brush. Some eyeliners come with one. Uh, and I'm just gonna smudge this pencil eyeliner out a little bit. Here we go. Now we're ready for brows and to move on to the rest of the face. So I'm gonna brush out my brows first, like this, like so. And I'm gonna be using a new uh, product today that I haven't used yet. Wow, they make it seem like this bottle is so much bigger. Look at this. That's like almost, the bottle itself is probably only half the box, but they have like a false bottom in here. That's kind of bullshit. What the fuck, Nyx? I'm gonna rip it open and show y'all, look. It's like a false fucking bottom in this box. Look at that. See this false bottom? That they put the product in there like that. That's fucking horseshit, if you ask me. Sorry. Why not just make a package that's the size of the fucking container instead of making it look like it's more. Anyway, I haven't used this before. I'm gonna be using the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. Hopefully it's good. The color I have here is uh, espresso the darkest brown, I think. I'm just like underlining the brow first, and then I'll go on the top. So the key to doing your eyebrows with pomade or any kind of gel is only use half of the brush or like one side of the brush. So if I'm doing the underneath line of my brow, I will have the angle so that the pointy part of the brush is toward my inner corner because you want to move it like this way, right? You want to move the brush this way. And so I only want the, the gel on the top part of the brush here, so. 
only on the top part of this brush. There's nothing on the underneath side right here. And it's just gonna be getting gel. Otherwise, you're gonna get gel on both sides of the brush, right? Now I'm gonna switch sides. So I kind of wipe off this side of the brush and I'm gonna use the other side. And I'm gonna work on the top part of the brow. I've got a little sparse area right there on top. I'm gonna fill that in. Now I'm just gonna proceed to fill in the whole brow. If you're filling in the middle, it doesn't matter if it's top or bottom. If you put the gel on the top or the bottom of the brush, should work either way, just be careful. Very gently gonna dip my brush into the pot again and draw some more hairs on here. Just kind of really finish this brow out. The least amount of gel I want is obviously in the inner corner here. And I want to gently just create little hairs with my brush. And then you could use your spoolie, brush out the hair, maybe use a Q-tip here to soften this inner corner a little bit. I'm not sure how I feel about this pomade just yet, honestly, we'll see how it stands up. It look, I mean, it, it feels smooth, but it's also just a brand new jar, so this could dry out pretty quick. We don't know yet, you know? So far, I'm not gonna lie, I do like the Milani brow pomade better. It just seems to have better coverage. I'm, I didn't have to apply multiple, multiple uh, coats of the, the Milani brow pomade. What I really want is one that's waterproof though. That's my, that's my shit. All right, there we go. Brow's done. All right, let's move on to the rest of the face now, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna apply my face primer all over. And the face primer that I'm using is NYX Hydra Touch. This is my favorite primer. So now I'm gonna take my face, my foundation here. I'm gonna use a, uh, a face brush. I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the color 310. I actually went back up to 320 recently because I had gotten a little bit of a tan and I'm like already going back to 310 because I'd rather it be because I because I do contour and everything anyways I'd rather it be like slightly lighter than my skin than a little bit too dark you know all right so we've got our foundation nice and blended and I'm gonna try this new product I got from NYX so I usually use cream contour lately and I saw this it's a sculpt and highlight face duo um, wand that I believe has, uh, you know, the highlight may not be light enough, but we'll try it. The contour definitely looks light enough, or I'm sorry, dark enough, but um, it's basically a liquid contour and, uh, and highlight. So I wanted to give it a shot and see. I'm gonna just go ahead and do my regular contour with this. totally disappointed. All right, now let's try to use the highlighter it comes with. This color is called Peach. this combo, this concealer highlighter combo. It's pretty good. Probably keep using it. See how long it lasts though. See how well it works. All right, I'm gonna take some setting powder and set this now. I'm using Maybelline uh, Master Fix by Face Studio. Just setting powder. I'm not, I don't like to bake really. Some people like to bake where they pound, they like, pile the powder on and whatever. I just kind of like to gently swipe. First, before I, do, let's do lipstick first, but I'm gonna throw some I'm uh, some mascara on real quick. This is Tarte Maneater uh, Mascara, by the way. I love the little brush on this 
mini guide. This came in a kit, an eyelash kit, but um, I love the brush on this. And I love the mascara, it's just really good. Let's do our lipstick first. I like to put my powder, my uh, highlighter on and my blush after I put setting spray because for some reason they just like to stick better after they're a little bit. <laughs> Wasn't all it should be lived 